it's been going on for 80 years. It's the Melbourne to Warrnambool race, one of the longest in Australia, covering 260 kilometres from the Victorian capital to the coastal town of Warrnambool to the west. A field of 150 cyclists turned out for the event this year, which offered prize money of $5,000. This race is uh, just over 80 years old. It started late in the last century. It's the oldest, uh, oldest race of this type in the in the world. It's uh, probably Australia's longest standing cycle event. Uh, it's uh, a handicap event which they don't have in Europe. They have longer races than us in Europe, but this would be the longest, the longest race of its type, and it is the longest race in Australia. Over the Westgate Bridge, the scratch riders were approximately 20 miles behind the leaders, having taken full advantage of their 60-minute start. The scratch bunch was a very strong bunch this year, including many riders from European countries. There were two Spaniards, Jesus Suarez Cueva from Spain, and his countryman Isadora Juarez, Gerard Schonbacher from Austria, Rudy Weber from West Germany, and Steve Jones from England. Also in the field was Terry Hammond, the previous Australian road champion. as safe as possible because unlike Europe we don't have a completely closed road situation the bike race has to go on with uh, with traffic flowing from behind and and towards it and past which makes it quite dangerous at times but uh, we have seven motorcycles one in front of every bunch and we have four mobile cycles ranging free up and down the race to pass traffic by from the rear and uh, a police car in the front coordinating the whole thing Scratchmen past the Mount Moriaga Hotel, maintaining a very solid pace. There are various sprints at towns along the route, including one at Winchelsea for the Scratchmen, which was won by Philip Sawyer. Here you see Sawyer crossing the line well in front of the, his rivals. At this point, the race was starting to take shape. The 50-minute bunch had caught the 60-minute riders. 30 and 40 minutes were separated by only one minute at Colac, and the Scratchmen had caught the 10-minute bunch, leaving the remainders of the 20-minute bunch between the Scratch and 10 minutes and the 30 and 40 minutes. The Scratchmen at that point were approximately 16 minutes behind the leaders. The townspeople from Pombonit turned out in force to cheer through two of their local champions, Kevin Bradshaw, the former Olympian, and Colin Haightley from Camperdown. As the race passed through Camperdown, the scratchmen were approximately 10 minutes behind the leaders and looked to be in with a very big chance. They were closing strongly on the outmarkers and it seemed that everyone in Camperdown had come out to watch the riders pass through. of a great ride by the Australian road champion Peter Bazenko. We can see him now as he comes down Raglan Parade coming down towards the Foster Street intersection. He's the current Australian and Victorian road champion and he's uh, through the dip now, starts the climb. There he is on the extreme right hand side of the road. He's been uh, runner up on one occasion in this event. Three times he's been runner up for fastest time and it's a tremendous ride to get up from the back mark and to ride away from uh, the bunch that he has. Uh, give him a big hand, it's Peter Pazanko, the Australian road champion, carrying number one. He comes up now to the uh, uh, Banyan Street crossing. He's 150 metres out from uh, his big victory. Peter Pazanko, a big hand for him. 
Bulldog physique on further down the road you can see the chasing bunch coming out after him. He's wearing his Australian championship jumper. And Peter Bezeko, first and fastest from the 69th annual Melbourne to Warrnambool. The big uh, bunch of state friends got up near Kudji. And here's the battle for the minor placings. Jeff Stevenson's there, David McFarlane's there. They go to the line. So the Victorian and Australian road champion Peter Vizanko has won 1984 Melbourne to Warrnambool in a time of 6 hours 36 minutes 43 seconds from Colin Morris, David McFarlane and Jesus Suarez Cueva from Spain. It was a great ride by Vizanko as he punctured 20 miles from the finish, changed his wheel, caught the bunch, uh, won the sprint at Allensford and continued on his way alone to Warrnambool.